Hey, Cyril here. I wanted to talk about the popular perception that has been coming on and that Game Freak is being lazy. Evidence people use for this is obviously the tree from Sword and Shield and the various terrifying glitches of Scarlet and Violet. However, I don't see this as a sign of laziness necessarily. Not every glitch or poor graphic is laziness. Not every incomplete game is a sign of laziness. Final Fantasy XV at launch was an incomplete mess. Final Fantasy XIV at launch was the worst experience ever. So much so that Square Enix decided to nuke the launch edition and rebuild it from the ground up. These Square Enix games aren't incomplete because the developers were lazy? No, no, no. They were bad at launch because production was a nightmare. The developers of the original Final Fantasy XIV were forced to work with a game engine that was not optimized for building an MMO that engine being Crystal Tools. For Final Fantasy XV, engine problems, this time the Luminous engine, would also cause many, many problems, in addition to mismanagement. I'm not saying that Pokemon has the exact same problems as 2000's era Square Enix, but I'm saying that they share a similar issue, and it's the guys in suits trying to force out results at an unrealistic pace. Pokemon has struggled greatly ever since it moved to the 3D era. Ask yourself this, in Scarlet and Violet, how many houses were you simply able to enter and talk to any of the NPCs? Maybe do a trade, maybe learn some lore, simply just talking to them. I'd be hard-pressed to do that as well. Now let's look at Gen 5. Gen 5 was pretty linear, all things considered. And you could still go to houses, learn all sorts of lore from the buildings, explore what they had to offer, and even battle people in them. I can't recall doing the same for Scarlet and Violet, despite how it's advertised as being an open-world Pokemon game. Really, for an open-world game, it feels pretty empty. Good luck entering a sandwich shop, of all things, and just getting an actual lobby and not just the main menu itself. If Game Freak was so lazy, then why did we get something like Legends Arceus? It's an action RPG, not a more traditional turn-based one. Why add the more action RPG elements into Legends Arceus? Because that is probably way more difficult to program alone than just a simple turn-based game. Why make places like Area Zero so engaging? I know for projects people don't work linearly from how all this starts to how it all ends, but I honestly have a hunch that Area Zero was the first area completed, because it probably took the most effort, because that's how projects are managed, do the thing that is the hardest and then just work around it. So why make Area Zero so engaging? Why make the storyline so engaging? That's odd if you're just plain going through the motions. It seems to me that the excessive amount of crunch time and the shoddy release schedule causes all the issues, and this is stuff that comes from the corporate side. It seems that corporate does not have the ability, or does not care, that their traditional model of making these games and developing them does not work anymore for the modern day. But those are just my thoughts on the matter. Please let me know yours in the comment section below. This is Cyril signing off.